Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Now to be honest, I'm fully ex- Yeah, there we go. We'll change it someday, I swear. We're unfortunately starting off with some sadder news this week. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking has died peacefully in Cambridge, aged 76. Hawking transformed how modern-day scientists see the universe through his work into black holes and singularities, and will be sorely missed by the scientific community and the world. Next on the list, unfortunately we have another death, but this time it happened quite a while ago. Some bones have been found on a Pacific island that are a 99% match of famed pilot Amelia Earhart. This comes after decades of speculation, after Earhart, her navigator and her plane went missing over the Pacific in 1937. A few bits of paleo news now, and to start off with, a new study has confirmed that the famous dino bird Archaeopteryx was indeed capable of short powered flight. A lot of debate was raised whether this ancient creature could actually fly, or if it just glided, but this study provides fairly convincing evidence that it can fly. Like a pheasant, apparently. More ancient flying reptiles in the news this week, as it has been reported in a new study that the pterosaur didn't die out slowly and were probably killed off fairly suddenly. Pterosaurs went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period along with the non-avian dinosaurs, but before now it was thought that the group had gradually been declining in diversity and the end Cretaceous event had just finished them off. However, this study describes seven new species that represent three different pterosaur families and show a very wide diversity in physical characteristics and inferred niches, meaning that pterosaurs were actually fairly successful right up until the mass extinction that ended them. Big thanks to Dave Martill who co-wrote this section of 7 Days of Science. And some lighter news, the world famous Tetrapod Zoology podcast has finally returned after an absence of around 8 months, which is absolutely fantastic. We highly recommend this podcast hosted by paleontologists Darren Naish and John Conway. They discuss all manner of things related to tetrapods and their evolution, as well as things not related to tetrapods and their evolution. It's brilliantly entertaining, and the amount of knowledge you can absorb from listening to this podcast is astounding. That's about it for this week, thank you so much for listening in, and also thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. It's not something we've missed, but we're all very busy at the moment, but nevertheless, we expect something out soon. At some point. Well, probably. Anyway, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you on Sunday.